very privileged to have had you bring the trophy with you today to let us have it. Can you tell us a little bit more about the actor trophy that you mm -hmm. mentioned before mm -hmm. the talk? Well, I'm privileged to be here talking to you, so <laughs> the privilege is mine, not yours, but uh, and it's great to bring the, the trophy and be able to show off because I enjoy showing it off. Because when we win it, it stays in my office, which is a wonderful place. That's another bonus of my job. <laughs> it's lovely. But the trophy, yeah, it was made by Mappin and Webb uh, back in 1926. Uh, it's nine carat gold. The original cost of the trophy was about just under three hundred pounds. You'll read in some things where it said it was a hundred guineas, but I've actually seen the receipt for the trophy, and it was just over just under three hundred pounds. Uh, in the original days there was no base on the trophy, so all the original matches are all, the results are all on here on the actual trophy. And of course we run out of trophy to put matches on, so we, we had a base, when I, when I started with it back in the early 80s, the base was only this depth, uh, and that was that band. And then we found off, so we ran out of space again, so we had to put another base on the bottom. And now the problem is when we play the Glen Eagles match, that's the last space on this band, so we're now thinking how are we going to, what's, what's the next plan, we're not, we're not quite finalised on the art because the problem is just to put another step onto the base makes the base too heavy for the trophy because the trophy is 17 inches high and the actual trophy weighs, weighs 4 pounds uh, what's the value now, that's what everybody wants to know, what's the value now, well it depends on the price of gold because it's 9 carat gold and so it goes up and down in the, the marketplace uh, but uh, we have the moulds, the moulds of this trophy are protected in a bank down in England, in Birmingham. I won't tell you the bank in case somebody goes looking for it. And uh, so if, if the ultimate disaster happened, and you kids run away with it today and melted it down, <laughs> then uh, we'd be able to remake the trophy. Uh, exactly in detail, every detail, every photograph, we've got photographs from every angle, and as I say, the wax moulds are made for it just in case we have an ultimate disaster. I just don't want to ever happen when I'm going to be with it. But, uh, but, as I say, so that's basically the history of it. And as I say, when you think of all the great champions and, that have handled that trophy, it's an amazing story. Yeah. If I could tell the tale, it would be really interesting for, <laughs> for you. So if you just start no, it's got to go in a special way. You see the, the actual yeah. thing's cut so the, the golfer's head fits the right So way. this is the flight case that holds the Ryder Cup. This and is bomb proof, fireproof, yeah. road proof. Go. I've got to tell you, I haven't tested either of those three things. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Sandy's going to show us the specific way it goes in. There you go. It's got more air miles than most people. <laughs> 